Oh, me in the car, driving through Grapevine, listening to worship, thinking about the king himself. Guys, I'm driving through Grapevine. I am on my way to Porterville to do an interview with another boutique boss babe. I am vlogging also because I'm gonna be stopping by Pink Chateau, talking to Marianne about her recent break-in. I'm just feeling so blessed, so happy to be alive, and just thankful for every opportunity that God put before me, and giving me this platform, and just everything, you guys, are just feeling great. So, hello, sunshines. Welcome back to my channel. If I have food in my teeth, don't mind me. I was eating a meal prep. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on those notifications. Become part of my YouTube family. Enjoy the content. Thank you guys so much for being here. And yeah, I'm just going to keep singing my heart out to Jesus right now. And I'm going to keep feeling the good vibes as I continue this drive. Um, stay blessed, fam. And... Yeah, let's keep going with the vlog. Lay, 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 lay. I've made it to Porterville. It is 3.40 and I made it right on time, actually. Um, I was actually supposed to be here by 3 to 3.30, so just 10 minutes behind, but we're doing great. Uh, this is Porterville. There's nothing here, absolutely nothing. I recommend nobody come to Porterville if you guys shop from these businesses. Online shop, girl. Yes. Oh, you guys, I just finished filming with Sim. And she is like such a pleasure. I love when I see girls so young, like really just being so independent and being just girl boss vibes. Like it just inspires me more to keep doing what I'm doing and like hear people's stories and like share them with you guys. And it just like, I just love that. Like I see so much of myself and younger me and like some of the girls that are younger and like, I don't know, like I just can't wait to see them continue to grow thrive succeed and like to know that i was able to meet them and be in the presence of people who in have greatness mile, inside right of them like i just i just it, it brings me a different kind of joy to be honest but anyways obviously you can tell like the energy is good the vibes are good because the whole conversation was amazing uh, i'm on my way to see marianne from pink chateau actually pretty much right on time i told her i would be on my way around five it's actually 5 20 on this beautiful Friday uh, if you guys don't follow me on my personal channel or anything about my personal journey I just want to share something with you guys um, at one point in my life for many many years I was unable to like do things like this and like really share this side of me and like just really have the freedom to do these things and to share them with the world and I I just feel so happy that I'm finally in this place where I can do all of these things and I mean no harm to anyone and it's just like a great joy to be like living in my truth and be living in what God had planned for me all along and by me being free from that and from my past life I'm able to inspire you guys and do these videos that and hopefully inspires you guys in different ways whether you start a boutique or you don't or you start a business or you don't or you just love to see other women succeed and that makes you inspired to want to succeed more in whatever it is that you do I just like oh you guys I just I'm feeling great happy Friday the vibes are good the love in my heart is big like I'm just feeling amazing so let's go talk to Marianne and let's talk to her about what happened in her business um, and I will insert the clip so that you guys kind of have like a backstory of what happened before we actually see her. You guys will see the clip here. And yeah, we're going to talk to her about that. So You go. can't get rid of me, bitch. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going no fucking where. 
What's up you guys? I have arrived. I'm right outside of Pink Chateau here in Porterville. So I'm not sure if they're actually open, but we are going to walk in. Not me, still in my Crocs. Okay, go me. Um, I think that this is where the mess happened, but we're going to hear directly from Marianne what actually happened. Oh, she's hiring. Anybody need a job in Porterville? I've never been in here. It's my first time. Hi. I, I don't know if Marianne told you she, uh, she was coming to meet me. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. I've never been in here, actually, but it's cute. Hi. Well, we're doing a little bit of construction right now. So I know. Have you guys been closed? No, we've actually been open the whole time. Oh, really? Okay. It's actually really cute in here. Okay, cute dress moment. Marianne's got swag. She has some good styles in here. Love it, you guys organized by color scheme? I love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for her to get here and then she can kind of describe what happened and how you guys um, can learn something from her experiences, uh, I just may, wanted to come in here and kind of shed some light on some of the things that she's experienced here um, so that you guys know that like, not ever, that it's not always like sunshine and rainbows and like there are people who like really wish bad on your business and like can really be toxic and like you're not the only one because I get so many DMs and comments sometimes of people who have like had haters or like just bad experiences with people and like people not wanting to see you succeed especially being from like small town types of places and this is a small town so that's why I wanted to talk to her and just kind of highlight that and what actually happened oh shit she's here look at I see you hey look what the cat dragged in hey hey, hey. 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 hey boo-boo I know I'm like how are you she's really out here yeah she's I literally really came here, I just finished the interview with Sim oh how'd it go oh Good. she's amazing yeah she's awesome. she really is amazing I can't wait she's, to, a, she's a really like hard worker and I was like when I first saw her coming up I was just like dude this girl's like she's got something going she reminds I me of me in a way dude like, I literally told like, her I'm like I'm here working. because of you yeah and like how much hard. you like said like dude I, w I really want to know what happened to her yeah so, like what happened that's I why know. we're that's why I was here but I came to visit you again because I was telling everybody like dude we need to know what happened here. Everybody has haters, and obviously you've experienced some like super toxic shit. Yeah. So we're gonna talk I think about this place it. Might be haunted or something. No, <laughs> no. There's just people who are just be mad. And here's sister. Hey, sister. Hey. Hey, girl. Yeah. We're here. I already gave them a tour of your spot. It's fucking cute, dude. Thank you. It's, it's really so cute. Hungry. You did great. No, and I love how everything's color coordinated. You're just like me. Yeah, I try to get like this place as organized as I can, but it's hard because I have like a shopping problem, so I feel like I shop too much. And you do? I literally I saw I this dress and I was like, dude, this dress, I must try it on. Is it a cute? It's very I don't know cute. How it's not selling. We've had it's it. not selling. No, we've no. had it for a year. So I'm, what I'm actually thinking. Bitch, about let me put it on. <laughs> well, actually, let let me sell it for you. I know. Uh, I'm actually thinking about retaking it and reposting it, and that's one thing that I kind of do a lot. Is like if an item isn't selling, I'll just retake the picture the next year and take a picture of me out. right now i got I know, you girl it's cute. Oh, you it's cute it's <laughs> cute okay so we're actually walking to sister's oh. boutique because she i don't know if you guys saw um the last uh, interview that we did we did with uh, marianne for pink chateau at the warehouse but sister has a plus size business yeah. and it was online only but she actually opened a storefront over there so we're gonna go and check it out um, and we're actually going to go in there and chop it up um, and talk about kind of like what happened here. Um, Marianne gave me kind of like a little bit of the scoop and it's pretty devastating I think and I think it's pretty fucking shitty. But we're going to talk about it and kind of share her experience. Also what's going on with the insurance, how it's not as easy as it seems because she just fooled me on it. It's a headache. <laughs> um, this is something that they've covered up, right? Yeah, so this was all storefront just like you see on that side. Um, it's secure and everything, but obviously it looks ugly right now. And they told me it'd be around four weeks to get the materials and everything to get this like done. But it's already two weeks, huh? It's yeah, been more it's already two been weeks. more than two weeks. And who knows they when? Put it I the think, estimate. Yeah, I think my landlord's waiting for um, like the insurance to pay out. And Jackie just told me that her sister barely got hers like three months later, three four months. So out. we'll I'm see. Scared now. 
We're gonna talk about the whole process. So yeah. let's let's head over there because there's customers in there and we don't want to be chopping it up like that. And here I go walking again with my Crocs. Crocs are everything. Dude, I'm so I'm comfortable like right now. I'm living living my best life. So we're going to Sisters Boutique. So first we'll do a tour because I have never seen it. It's my first time. Well, we Can you tell us while we're walking about your store? I first had a location here. We okay. used to sell like frutas locas, aguas locas. I closed it down. Okay. Because like, Michoacana came to town and they kind of... Oh, yeah. You know, it was over for... They're too business. commercialized. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then our new chapter opened and we took... Um, since I was selling, selling Very online. girl boss mindset though. I love that. <laughs> One thing didn't work. On to the <laughs> next, mija. Stick to what you know. We need to stick with what you know because with food, it's so hard. It's like hard. the food expires, fruit. Such I would bad. never work with food, dude. I don't even know how never to make my again. own food. Dude, I, we thought it would be easy. We're like, ah, it's something so simple, <laughs> and heck no. I mean, it was fun while it lasted. It was really good online, social media. We were good at posting and everything, but honestly, no. Un peso I know we got off. like I think 34,000 followers at one point on that page. Oh my yeah, gosh. It, it was going good. Even um, Jenny69 had like comments. Yeah, she even shut us out. Like that. Like that. So I was all like, oh my god. But yeah, no. Okay, so <laughs> now plus size boutique. So now we're over here. <laughs> oh, it's okay, girl. Humble beginnings. Your back place, my first place was like. <laughs> Trust me, same. I had a little block. So, welcome to our little location. This is our number one employee. Like, Hello, number one employee. Yeah, What's good, go. girl? Don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. <laughs> It's very cute in here too, very clean. Again, the same color-coded uh, vibe, so I love that because it's easier for people to shop. That's how I like to shop too, by color. Yeah, I always Personally. Have an idea what I'm gonna, what color I wanna wear. Me too, so then I gravitate towards that. Very cute, sorry, excuse me. Really cute. Okay. This is kinda what I wanna do on that wall on the other side. So we'll see. It's really there, keeping I think you a though. Bit more clothes, because I have a lot of racks, and I feel like then there's times where we've caught people stealing because they they hide behind so many racks. So I kind of don't. You need to leave more open floor. space. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So more open space, gonna, like more tables like this. Yeah. So more open space. That's kind of what I want to do now. So I'm gonna get rid of a lot of racks. And put I'm things on the wall yeah. where you can visually like, see. Oh, they can't touch it. Period. <laughs> Tell them, sister. <laughs> okay. You're onto something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put everything in a glass display. Do you have another one of yeah. those? Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Where should I be? I think right here because the natural okay. light just comes in. Okay, like, we're like, right. you leave a time when you're a special customer, we give you water. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> What's up, guys? So, we are sitting down and I'm just, we just found a, pot, a little place to like prop down at and just kind of talk about what happened to her oh yeah can you turn the, off the music please mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alexa, or just turn turn over. thank you um yeah so we just kind of sat down right here just to kind of talk to you guys and catch you guys up on what actually happened because you guys did see her interview and you guys loved her and like i just want to share what happened to her so i already told them i inserted the clip of like the backstory or like kind of like what happened yeah, and i'll send you pictures too so you can see like it was a it was pretty devastating honestly like um this is the third break-in i don't know if you guys have followed the story or whatever but this is my third break-in and this one obviously by far has been the worst one um last time it was just like they threw a rock and they just reached for what they could and took it the first time it happened i actually didn't have an alarm system at all so i did not even know that that it had happened until one of my employees that came in at i think she works she used to come in at six in the morning for to start shipping so she came in and she's like marianne like with an anxiety you know like yelling and stuff she's like someone broke in someone took stuff and i'm like oh my god like so like it was already bright out so my place was broken into and who knows how long it was open so i learned my lesson on that and after that i installed adt which is um an alarm company and honestly i really recommend them because they have the whole um glass breaking um system so if someone breaks your glass you get a call like right away and they call the cops um usually they're there pretty quickly but this time they actually got their two minutes 
minutes after they were already gone so it's like they barely miss them it really sucks it's something that's happened habitually which is why i wanted to like kind of highlight this because again i feel like everybody just sees like you know the other things you know not so much the bad stuff and this is something that has unfortunately happened to her habitually i know that she's not the only one who receives hate i know that there's so many other people who receive hate and like i don't think it's to this extreme mm -hmm. because i feel like this is extreme um but uh what do you think like what do you think this is like do, what do you think led to this like do you think it was like um you said that there was like some issues in the city with like people being targeted do you think that's part of it because it's happened habitually like do you think that it's that or do you think it's like genuine hate from the people like what could it be because now so many things are being affected like her business reviews we were just talking about that like mm -hmm. all these things and like i feel like the reviews are like they're stupid so, things like so they're random. not like it's just to to spew out hate and it's like I hate that people don't want to see you win because I mean I just I've talked to you so obviously I know like your personality and stuff mm -hmm. and I just hate that I just feel like I don't know like I try to think it's not like tar that I'm not being targeted and stuff but it's just kind of like how many times um, could this happen that it's not like a coincidence you know you kind of have to be like realistic here and be like okay what's really going on I don't know if maybe I look like an easy target because um, I have racks that are against the windows, which is one thing I'm trying to work on right now and fixing. I'm building a wall um, in front of the window so that way all you are going to see is basically the wall and mannequins in the front. And there's uh, hopefully there's no more break-ins where people are trying to like grab stuff and stuff like that. But um, it was just kind of weird because during that week of the break-in, we were working on opening this place up, um, the plus size shop for my sister. And then we're also um, working on doing things. And I feel like every time making you make moves, like like that saying from um oh what's that actor that said like you know and at your highest moment the devil will always like challenge oh you attack you or attack you yeah like and i do feel like some maybe the biggest form happening. of attack would be when you're like at the brink of like success yeah like hitting like good points in your life you know yeah, like and trying and to bring you down i really can't complain you know my business is doing really well and i kind of just feel like maybe that's what it is is i'm trying to be discouraged or they're trying to discourage me like you know from yeah. actually ultimately reaching yeah. like your full potential because i've always like i've always said that everything i have is because god like because honestly when i first started my business and i went, first went to open it everything was so aligned it was so easy that i was like oh my god this is meant for me like when i went to search for racks um i came across this lady that was selling a bunch of racks um she sold me like so many racks for like a hundred bucks that I, at first I did not realize what a deal that was. Oh my god, such a deal! She They're thousands she of sold dollars. Me, like boxes and boxes of bags that I didn't have to buy shopping bags for like three years. Mm -hmm. Like she gave me hangers, she gave me everything I needed to start for a hundred dollars, and I was just like, oh my god! And now I see it as like that was that was God that for God sure put that person in like in your path. In, yeah, so I could like succeed because he knew I didn't have any money you know I only had a thousand bucks um and we've talked about that in my last video but um I um I just feel like it could be a combination of those things maybe I'm an easy target or they felt like I was um and then maybe there is some type of hate I also feel like I've had a lot of theft um like I try to expose these people and stuff like that but honestly it's just they're really hard to catch because we'll randomly walk like see like tags and stuff like that so i'm trying to change up my store so like there's the not layout. so many racks where people can hide and stuff like that i feel like all these things too come with experience like you start to mm -hmm. learn how to do things better how to protect yourself a little bit more i feel like it's kind of like you want to see the good in everybody but at the same time like you have to protect your business and yourself yeah. and your employees even your employees from like having to catch somebody because that's uncomfortable too so like yeah i feel I like it's it. just like a big because we have had that this one lady came in and she like grabbed the bag and start just stashing stuff in her bag mm -hmm. and um my employee had to say some oh, people literally do that shamelessly i'm just i was like oh my god i can't believe she would do that but yeah she was she told her oh you, i can hold that up at the register for you and the customer was like uh and she just took, took off. off yeah so i don't know i feel like also what, what it's just kind of weird how like I'm getting those negative reviews and if you guys google us you'll see these random reviews from people like that are are obvious made up 
made up. Yeah, names, like not even you know? real people or like, real customers or no. anything like that. And I've searched their names to try and see if like, like what happened with this order or this person because every order we get or purchase people make in store, they're in our system. So um, I just was like, okay, what's going on? So I was trying to search these people to try and see what's going on. And honestly, they never came up. Um, and some of them were posted minutes between each other like one minute and then the next minute it's obvious more. hate it's like obvious i don't want to say it but i want to say it like it's just yeah. obvious like it's just like it's too consistent it's too habitual for it not to be apparent that somebody's really trying to like ruin your reputation ruin your business in any yeah. which way they can so being that we're talking about that um so she is she obviously is covered she's learned her lessons from previous times she is dealing with insurance um i do want to talk about that just for a second because i want to say that it's not as easy as you think it is to get your insurance claim so yeah she may be protected but it still fucking sucks because there's still what's the process mm -hmm. it, honestly they've asked for so much um like documents they even asked for my tax returns mm -hmm. so they want to know how much um i might have lost that day for closing because obviously i was not open all day i was um i had to close down until they were able to put the board up um so they want to know how much i usually make on a friday um so like compare sales for that week and the previous week and i think that happened on a monday or on a friday so like i had to wait for the following week um I also had to like send over like my contract because they want to see if my landlord is the one that's liable for it um they asked for um you know an inventory list of everything that was stolen and they also wanted to know when i when i purchased that item so there was some items that were like brand new where we barely put them out that week and then there were some items that were like a year old and the thing that sucks with that is that they're gonna go based off of the wholesale price and plus depreciation so that means like if you've had it for a year they they like divide that number by 12 and then they start subtracting by month like they literally go so into literally, like the nitty gritty there's gonna be things that i probably got for 12 bucks and i'm probably gonna get three bucks for it. yeah it so sucks. it's like yeah she's protected and yeah like it it she has a way of protecting herself but it's like for her to have to go through this whole process a lot of people are discouraged almost i feel yeah i feel like that would make me want to be like all right i'm fucking done with this shit like yeah, i don't want to deal with this anymore oh i think we're let's go forward a little bit in the light a little bit more um but anyways i just wanted to pop in with her and kind of like share her story <laughs> i'm like i know it's, <laughs> i'm like why are we so dark maybe you should we want to go forward side? yeah let's go forward a little bit so we could finish out let's see oh, is it this way maybe no why are you so shadowy i don't know am i shorter than you or like what my torso is longer or maybe because you're at an angle Aquí. oh no Mira. Nombre. dude the sun just likes the you <laughs> dude <laughs> Okay, so we readjusted just to kind of finish out like the story about what what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, she's not in the shadows anymore. She's not hiding no more, girl. She's here. She'll be back. Um. Anyway, so I think we were just in the insurance part and like how it's not like as easy as it mm -hmm. seems. Like yeah, she's protected and stuff, but it still sucks to go through this. So it's just some of the things that you should be cautious for. If you could like warn anybody or like, I don't know what would you say. Like I don't know. I really don't. Like, I never really I experienced give? this. Like even really? when we had stores, like. We had very minimal theft. Uh -huh. Bad reviews, yeah, but mostly from like online customers about the online policy, you know. But other than that, like, not anything like that. And I feel like I got a lot of haters, girl. But I never experienced I know. that. I'm, all I'm like, yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I know, but I can see them why they would hate. Honestly, it's because you're doing really good and. Like I really don't know because I'm not the type of person that's coming. I feel like you're so anyone. quiet, so like I'm to myself. And I feel like your pro even your business me. stuff is like not you. Yeah, like it's I'm like, a, I'm a yeah, ghost. You're absent. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, what the fuck? Like why I think that has to do with um like the fact that I'm not where I want as far as like want to be as far as like weight and how I look and stuff. So no, but like, aside from I'm that, like, like I feel like they it. they don't have a person to hate. Yeah, oh that's. I true. feel like your boutique that's is why like I'm your like, girl. Someone that knows me or exactly because I, I feel like they don't have a, a a actual person to hate me. Yeah, they have me to hate because mm -hmm. I literally I'm there or like you see mm -hmm. me. But I feel like for you, you're not like in the mix. Yeah. You're behind the scenes, so. Like, do they hate your girls? Like, I don't know. Like, your employees? Like, I don't... That's a good point. And in that You're like, who? I'm not <laughs> Who doesn't like you? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's just like... It sucks because you can't really protect yourself from, like, the bad reviews. People, I guess, are just going to... 
like just hate honestly no matter what you can be like the nicest person out there and someone's still gonna dislike you so that's one thing that i tried to like and i feel like that was something that really bothered me back in the day like i would get a bad review and literally i would want to cry all week long and i would get depressed and i would get mad and now i'm just kind of like i see it i know it's fake and if it was someone that was real and i was talking about a real situation then obviously i would try my best to like try to make it better for that person so I, if you ever see my responses i'm always like can you please email me and let me know about the situation so we can you know try to resolve it um but it's always like someone left a review about eating one of my employees eating uh, something out of her hair and it no, being and who unsafe. really like eats like, something out of their hair like, like let's be honest it's I, a lie. I can't but um as far as like theft like just have a good like system because honestly that's the only thing we could do um luckily my sister wasn't broken into they actually were trying <clears throat> to break into her place um but she has a pillar in front of her window so they the truck wasn't able to fit because it's pretty wide um but she didn't have her insurance, insurance and her um oh, and her alarm set yet and so that could really screw somebody Pretty over yeah so totally make, make sure that you have um protection you know that you protect all your, your row or all your ducks lined up yeah yeah because if you're opening a business and you don't have those things lined up you could i mean it takes it's very rare for you to for something to happen in your business when you're first opening but you just really never know so luckily you know i have that in place um the adt and my insurance i've always had it since day one and i never went through it for my other break-ins because i didn't think it would be worth it because the deductible is a thousand dollars so um the break-in obviously has to be worth it for me to like mm -hmm. go through all the trouble and if they only stole a thousand dollars worth of inventory then, then what's the point of going through the whole process it really it's isn't but at this point they still <clears throat> like four racks worth of clothing and one was a double rack and they broke three racks so three of them they just completely bent up when they crashed in um the like the glass was kind of against um one of all wall, wall displays and some of that clothes got snagged so there was quite a bit of merchandise that was damaged and stolen so at this point it is worth it so you can um, still claim it as a loss at the end of the year as well like yeah. it's still part of your tax return That's what but my CPA was it just me. still sucks like yeah, it doesn't matter what way you put it. it doesn't matter what you get back what you gain from it i mean she was on the news i know she I was did on go on the news 30, I she was did like, get like publicity from that so like mm -hmm. i feel like all we actually press had a really good sale day i feel like all <laughs> press is good press to be honest yeah that's but true. at the same time it just sucks it sucks like it just sucks it, it just it, it, it's a hit to your to your like your to heart, you your heart yeah it's, it's your, your baby hard work, you know it's yes. been seven years that i've slayed over there you know, I barely started paying myself two years ago, so like to me, it's kind of like, ugh, like when someone takes a like a hit towards my business, it's like they're it's like they're attacking me because it hurts I put you. my heart and soul into this, and I work literally like 24 hours sometimes, and it's like I really shouldn't because I need to have a life, and I've done a lot better this year, but like my it's my baby, it's my everything, you know. So it kind of sucks when when I see that people come in and steal, and I'm like over here like slaving away working and stuff like that so it just hurts yeah and it takes an emotional toll with a break-in i i feel like i have a little bit of ptsd because i'm not able to sleep like uh -huh. you know because i feel like i'm gonna get a call at four in the morning and i like the first the day like I, now you're nervous yeah now you're anxious so i got a um i had a bad dream that someone shot up my business the next day i'm like okay you need to chill out marianne like yes that's exaggerando but this is too much already yeah but yeah. it it does suck because like even right now they're installing that wall in front of the window and that gave me anxiety i'm just i guess just seeing the board and, and like feeling like i'm back there where like my business was just violated like it was pretty scary but they also did that to three other businesses they did that to a moonshine um shop and they sell leather jackets and they stole like three thousand oh my gosh jackets. leather's so expensive yeah. too and that's the second time they've gone hit so um it's just weird because i feel like b both of us have been the ones that have been hit the most in this town um and it's just weird because i mean we're in fast fashion this clothes really isn't worth much like mm -hmm. what are they going to be able to sell it for so they're not i very, feel like it's just torture yeah they're just torturing you yeah and uh, it's like everything has sensors they're gonna have a fun time taking all that off <laughs> that too it's gonna rip mm-hmm oh yeah um so if there's anything that anything else that you may wanted to say i really just wanted to pop in since i was in town i was like dude i'm gonna stop by so that we can share more of your story i would love that if this story even gets more exposure that she gets more business from it because that's what she fucking deserves period like aside from like all this mess like i just i wanted to stop by for that main reason like 
now even more reason even if you own a boutique to even show some support just because like if it were you you know what it, like how good it would make you feel that like the community is supporting you and like yeah. that everybody's like there for you you know and because it fucking awesome, sucks it really does and that was the awesome thing is a lot of people were like a lot of love came from that and i was just kind of like wow like i was feeling down on myself and kind of like dude i keep feeling attacked by people on social media you know leaving bad reviews and stuff like that on google and then i have like these people that just like randomly started you know um like leaving good comments saying i'm gonna go shop right now like i'm and we had a good sell day like i said and i feel like those people really had our back and that made me feel more loved because i kind of always felt like maybe um like locals don't like my business or i don't know i mean my business does well regardless online but obviously you want to know that you're supported by the community so. exactly so if anything that's the reason that i stopped by to yeah and just highlight out. honestly you were like one of the first people dude as soon as i saw it i was like what the and fuck I'm, is this <laughs> immediately i was like I was let me message so her it. yeah i was like what the fuck is this like i was so irritated like i just don't like things like that like i'm all about like everybody just like doing well and like supporting each other even if you guys don't like each other whatever like everybody in their own lane anyone, yeah i would you know? never wish no that matter, on anybody so like, it fucking upset mm -hmm. me and i was like dude what the f so when i knew i was coming over here i made it a point to make sure that i stopped by to come and talk to her and just like highlight this situation but more so for the good of her business for, so that you know like something good comes from like this and not just for her but for everybody else to learn from so that if you ever experience like even the smallest hate like let's say from friends and family like there's so many more bigger things that happen and mm -hmm. like you shouldn't let those even those little small discouragements like or those small things discourage you from still pushing forward with your business because look at all these big horrible things that have happened to her and like she's still here and she's still not yeah, gonna let still gonna go keep pushing, and she's still the going first, the first thing and I like thought, they're over there cleaning you guys saw when i walked in <laughs> yeah we're building that wall so we're gonna renovate the place you know and i'm gonna take it as a um you know like just a uh, chance on like just renovating myself and the business Oh, I'm a web designer, one of a professional website. Oh, you can come tell them. <laughs> there was somebody outside. I think he was trying to get... The boss is over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, the boss is over there. But, um, yeah, so that's why we stopped by. Um, is there anything else you want to say, Marianne, before I go? Um, well, just thank you for, like, coming by and thinking of me. Honestly, like, whenever you reached out to me, I was just kind of, like, I was there, like, dude i need to just close down this shop like what am i doing like i just i'm gonna keep getting attacked and i got scared and then whenever she reached out to me i was just kind of like like she was like no like you're gonna keep going i was just you know what you're right like what am i thinking and you know sometimes you just have like you have like all these obstacles in your in the road but you just have to keep going you have to keep having that faith that you're gonna make it and honestly sometimes i feel like these little things something great happens right after this god planted thing. something good inside of you and when the devil sees something good inside of you he tries everything he can to take it away from you because there he knows that there's something great inside of you and he does not want you to achieve that greatness so that's why as soon as i saw it, i was like fuck that like i i already had met her and her sister and i was like dude these are such great people like this is bs i was like right away i was like hell no like do not let this stop you from anything like you guys are great like and whatever is going on on the outside can be easily fixed you can easily fix that don't stop yeah it's from all material your things at the end of the day um luckily no one's hurt nothing was done where like it's not repairable mm -hmm. and i'm just going to use this as kind of like an opportunity to reinvent myself in a way period love that well thank you so much thank you for coming again <laughs> thank you for joining us on here and like just you know hearing her story again and like i said i'm gonna leave all of their details down below so if you guys don't follow them already a follow it is a show of support if you guys want to buy something buy something like anything is a show of support so i would love that if it came from my channel to them and nothing but love to them because they deserve that and their family's great so that's it you guys thank you guys so much for joining us for yet another video i love you guys so much and make sure hit that subscribe button down below turn on those notifications and become part of my youtube family peace bye bye